Mopar is exactly the way to go, whether it's a Charger, a Challenger, whether it's an RT, a Scat Pack, or a Hellcat, a Red Eye, or the Jailbreak that's out now. Y'all know exactly what I mean when I say Mopar is the dream. Mopar is where you want to go when it comes to getting a, a fly new whip. Now, the things you want in life are available to you. How do you get those things? You have to be in alignment with those things. You have to be in alignment with the things that you want, with the things that you say you want. And when I say say you want, it's like, okay, you say that you want to buy a home, but you don't know what credit fixes that you need to take care of before you can apply for that home loan. So technically, you don't really want to buy a home. It's something... It's something that you may want and feel like you want, but you don't actually desire it on a deep level. You don't know each step that you need to take to get there. You're not following a plan. Blocking it out, if you're blocking it out of your brain, then most likely you're not ready for this level of information. You may just be spiritually blocked. You might be experiencing some blockage, but I am asking that you resist the urge to reject this information and open your mind and open your heart to receive this. Man, what they do. I just be showing niggas love. I notice when they show it back. If I wanna get to the facts, I gotta put this on my back. Yeah, I gotta carry the pack. Yeah, I gotta lead the way. Yeah, I gotta go and get it like now. Yeah, I gotta see the day. New whip with the wrist, ayy. That bitch, big tits, ayy. I gotta go and get it right now, man. I gotta see today. Man, what they do, y'all? It's your boy, TJ Too Smooth, Trey Jawan. And right now, y'all see, we in the new whip. And um, I've already come up with a name for the new whip. Uh, I don't know if I should say it right now or. <laughs> If I should, I think I'm gonna do a poll with y'all, man, but I'm leaning towards the White Widow. I'm leaning towards the White Widow, um, but I'm also going to wrap this car. Um, I'm either gonna wrap it um, immediately all around. Let me turn the air down slightly. Yeah, I'm either gonna wrap it immediately all around or I'm going to um, keep it white all around wrap the top, and then continue on with the White Widow theme. But, yeah, the White Widow, that's the name. And um, I actually recorded this video once before, but I was, a, I was in a little bit of a rush, and today I'm not in a rush. Today, um, everything is cool and calm, so I kind of want to touch on something with y'all, man. And it's how I manifested this car, how I manifested my dream car. And excuse the shakiness of the camera, uh, this road is just, it's shit out here. But um, this is, damn, she was kinda thick. This is definitely my dream car, one of them, right? Um, I wanna express my dream garage. My dream garage is a wide body charger Hellcat with a TRX um, Dodge TRX Ram and a Lamborghini Aventador um, or I'll take a McLaren but I really want a Lamborghini Aventador that's my dream garage and to get into the Mopar game um, with the RT you know with that 5.7 liter V8 it's, uh, it's, it's really a blessing and you know how it is that I manifested this car, y'all see. This car right here has been years in the making. It's been years in the making. There's certain individuals that I'm sure y'all follow, that I definitely follow, um, like Tall Guy Car Reviews. Uh, I've been following Tall Guy ever since he got his first Hellcat, uh, ever since he did the first review. And he was telling everybody about how he had to work on his credit first and he had to get a, a Honda Accord first. Um, then he went from a Honda Accord 
and got the Hellcat, right? Um, so I remember that. That being said, I, I watched him. Um, I watched Mr. Organic, Tall Guy Car Reviews. He got Mr. Organic into, you know, loving the cars like him. Um, you know, Organic was more of a luxury nigga, you know, and then he got him into the the American muscle type cars and American muscle type trim level of vehicles, you know. So I've been watching these two individuals, bro, and they have been inspiring me to get into the Mopar game since I learned what a Dodge was. Like, that motherfucker breathing now. I'm gonna do a full review on this car and let y'all know, you know, what's under the hood, um, you know, all of the other features that are on this car. Um, but I'll let y'all know, man. I just had to say, you know, this vehicle. I keep smiling, bro. I can't stay on task because I'm having fun driving this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Shit, man. It's, 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 yo, it's, it's bringing a smile to my face, bro. But, um, you know, I'll, tell, I'll, start, I'll start off by saying this. You know, these cars are, are very sought after. Let me make sure that this is still recording. It is, good. These cars are, these cars are very sought after right now. Um, the pricing on them is up. Uh, why? Because one, the market's up. You know, there was a chip shortage two years ago. Um, inflation is up. Uh, you know, if you don't believe me, go out there and try and buy a cheeseburger. And then, um, you know, last but not least, um, Mopar, is, Mopar is going away from the the straight eight V8. Mopar is going towards um, the variable valve timing V6 with the turbo on it for their RT vehicles. And of course, we've been hearing, you know, whispers and, and words of uh, possible electric Hellcat. So, you know, these types of plans uh, being in the works, the word out there into the public you know, people want a V8. People want to get their hands on a naturally aspirated V8 before it disappears, you know? And we want to get our hands on one the right way. Uh, we want to get our hands on one uh, with a, a, a big 5.7 liter V8 and not a small, uh, you know, 5.0 V8, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> a shout out to the Mustang owners. Um, but, you know, having um, a car like this, they're sought after, you know, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's as rare as, um, as it can be and as it will be just yet. It's not as so rare, um, as to think, oh, wow, um, you just don't see them anymore type thing. It's not like that. You can see a, a, a RT charger, a left and right. They're all over the place, but, um, it's rare to the point where if you want to get one right now, you're going to pay the cost to be the boss and I came into the situation where you know it was just time it was just time it was time to get something new um, I was looking at the the markets and how much my car was worth um, and you know already was making plans to to get it done and sell it and then a beautiful situation came about where somebody you know really wanted the car um, and was ready to to take hold of it that week the same week that I was ready to sell it. So, um, you know, shout out to him. I don't wanna say too much just yet. A video will drop about um, about that process. Um, but yeah, after selling the CTS and just being more than ready to purchase a new car, um, I started looking. I started searching and you know to my pleasant surprise 
after searching around, I found the White Widow. And, you know, therein lies a, a lesson, a lesson that I wanna, I wanna kind of break down to y'all because um, I, I want my audience and my, my supporters to know that, you know, we live in a world where All things can be had and all things are to be had. All things are possible, bro, in this world and in this lifetime. And, you know, this is just one of my dream vehicles, right? It's like, it's just the open door. The door has been opened to one of my dreams, right? You know, I manifested the CTS Coupe. Um, like I told y'all before, I wanted that car at one point, didn't get it, just waited, then boom, went and got it the second time around. But this vehicle right here is like a benchmark vehicle. It's like, okay, if I can get this car, you know, within my lifetime, you know, that is a level of success, one level of success in life, bro. And it's a dream car for a lot of of young men out there for a lot of y'all i already know for a lot of my subscribers you know if you're into cars if you're into the car world if you like cars on youtube you are complete completely aware that mopar is the way to go when it comes to your your youtube world of cars bro mopar is the way to go bro like regardless of who you are regardless of what race or creed you are um Mopar is exactly the way to go, whether it's a Charger, a Challenger, whether it's a RT, a Scat Pack, or a Hellcat, a Red Eye, or the Jailbreak that's out now. Or if you're getting into, you know, you know the Durangos and, you know, the TRXs, whatever it is, y'all know exactly what I mean when I say Mopar is the dream. Mopar is where you want to go when it comes to getting a, a fly new whip. And... This is without a doubt, you know, a dream car. And um, things in this life are to be had, bro. You know, now, the things you want in life are available to you. How do you get those things? You have to be in alignment with those things. You have to be in alignment with the things that you want, with the things that you say you want, right? Now, let me make sure we still recording. We are, good. So you have to be in line with the things that you say you want, bro. And when I say say you want, it's like, okay, you say that you want to buy a home, but you don't know what credit fixes that you need to take care of before you can apply for that home loan. So technically, you don't really want to buy a home. It's something, it's something that you may want and feel like you want, but you don't actually desire it on a deep level. You don't know each step that you need to take to get there. You're not following a plan, right? I'm not saying specifically that you're not, but what I'm saying is if you are not following a plan to get that thing, to get that home, to get that car, to move to the new state, to get that girl, if you're not following the plan that allows you to succeed at that goal, then you're not within alignment of the thing that you want, period. So how is it that you get within alignment of the thing that you want? And it doesn't have to be just a physical thing, but I'm telling you a physical thing is probably what you want to begin with. And you know, people say things like you can manifest a cup of coffee this morning. You can manifest a cup of coffee this morning. I mean, even if you don't actually go out and buy the cup of coffee, you can mentally manifest a cup of coffee and have somebody walk up to you and give you a cup of coffee if that's what you want, if that's the type of life that you live in, if that's the type of a manifestation that you believe in for, then you can make that happen. Um, so, um, boom, how do you get within alignment? First of all, you need to vibrate on the level of that thing. When I saw this car, I'm gonna give you an example of that. Um, I don't want you all to feel, uh, let me just give you a little caveat. I don't want you to feel as if I'm 
saying things that are just like unattainable or oh this is all bullshit things like that if you're blocking it out if you're blocking it out of your brain then most likely you're not ready for this level of information you may just be spiritually blocked you might be experiencing some blockage but i am asking that you resist the urge to reject this information and open your mind and open your heart to receive this so when i first saw this this vehicle when i first saw this car i began to visualize myself in this car i began to see myself driving this car imagining what it would be like to crank the car up and i have cranked the car up from a distance away um i used to have a 2004 cadillac dts excuse me a 2006 cadillac dts and it had remote start so every time i would walk up to that dts i would start it with my remote it would crank up and i would pretend i would imagine i would visualize that what i was cranking up was a dodge charger rt i would visualize that what i was cranking up was a dodge charger scat pack i would visualize that what i was cranking up was a dodge trx truck i would visualize it bro you can call me crazy uh, you can say what you want but that's exactly what i did now when i saw this specific vehicle when i saw the white widow I began to immediately visualize myself within this car. What would it feel like sitting in the seats? You know, what would it smell like? What is it like gripping the steering wheel? What would it sound like when it cranks up when I'm walking to it and I'm pressing the button? Y'all, I've been manifesting even in my music. If you go listen to my song of uh, Make Moves, Treasure One Make Moves, I said, 30 feet from the whip and I started. I said, 30 feet from the whip and I started. 20 deep when we hitting the party. 30 feet from the whip and I started. So I was already manifesting remote start on a car before I had this car. Uh, but anyway, I would put myself within the, the confines of the vehicle within my mind so that I knew exactly what it felt like, exactly what it would sound like, exactly what it looked like to be in this vehicle before I got in the vehicle. And you may have heard this saying that if you can see it, then you can have it. If you can see it physically, mentally, if you can feel it spiritually and emotionally, you can have it physically. You can have it tangibly. It can be right there within your possession, but you have to be in alignment with the thing. Now, um, so that's visualization. That's step one, bro. Step one is visualization. Step two, you need an active meditation, bro. You need a active meditation to get the things you want. And I'm not just talking about cars, bro. We're talking about the things in this life that are to be had, man. Uh, whether it's a beautiful woman, whether it's um, the house you live in, you know, whether it's um, a loving, strong family unit, you need to be able to visualize what does it look like and feel like to be in the presence of people who love and care about me? What does it look like to be in the presence of people who want me to be around? What does that feel like, right? Maybe you're trying to manifest a new friend group. You need to know what it feels like first because otherwise you're gonna walk up to these new people, you're gonna rub them the wrong way, you're not gonna know the right things to say, <laughs> you're gonna get around this group of people, you're gonna scare them off with your mean faces, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna fuck it up unless you're in alignment and vibrating right in line with the thing that you want. You have to be able to do that, okay? Highly successful people have the ability to do that like this. I was just watching uh, Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti did an interview where he basically, they asked him, they was like, so do you feel any type of strain having to switch from Yo Gotti the business mogul, Yo Gotti the CEO of Cocaine Music, and then Yo Gotti the artist? He like, no, shit easy. I could walk out that door right now and transition into Yo Gotti the CEO and then walk on stage and kill a show. It's like that. But you have to have that ability to do that. So 
I have the ability and have exercised the ability to put myself right in line with the thing that I want. I want to be in there. I want to feel it. I want to smell it. I want to hear it. I want to drive it before I even get the keys. And that, my friends, is an active meditation. You need to spend five minutes a day, just five minutes a day in the car you want without actually going to see it. You need to spend five minutes a day within the house that you want without actually buying it. You need to spend five minutes a day with the woman of your dreams without actually being with her. You need to spend five minutes a day eating the things that you should be eating without filling your plate up with the vegetables first. You need to, vi you need to vibrate on the level of the things that you want, bro. And then you can have them. And then you can have them. So again, I began to... I began to vibrate on that level. And you know what? I knew this car was for me because I'll tell you a story, bro. On the way to this uh, dealership to get the car, on the way to the dealership to get the car, the sales guy calls me and my pops because my pops drove me down there. And by the way, this thing got a sunroof in it. And he's like, Yo, man, somebody's doing a deal on the car, man. We, I tried to hold the keys for you, man. Where are you? I'm like, bro, it's like 10.05, bro. I told you I'd be there at 11. And I was like 10 minutes away. Well, more like 30. I was like 30 minutes away. And I'm like, bro, come on, man. Don't tell me somebody's doing a deal on the car. Um, but I had already, like, given myself a plan B. I created a plan B later on of exactly the other car that I would want. Right? And of course it was there and available because listen, these cars sell really, really fast. It was a Saturday. You know, somebody wanted that vehicle. Somebody wanted this vehicle, but the vehicle was ready. It was available and it was ready to purchase if this one wasn't because I had already manifested. I knew that that day I was buying a Mopar, bro. Period. I knew I was buying a Mopar. So listen. I was buying a Dodge that day regardless, you know? And, um, you know, I, I I thought the dude was pulling my leg at first. I thought maybe he was just telling me, like, oh, um, you know, somebody's looking at the car trying to test me and see if I was on my way or not, when, of course, I was on my way. But turns out when I got there, there was somebody looking at the car. This guy was in a... Uh, what he was doing, the, by the way, the salesman told me that he thought that that deal was gonna flip because he was upside down. And I was like, okay, well, let's find out. I go there, get to the dealership. The guy was driving a 2005 Ram crew cab um, and he still owed money on the car and they were only gonna give him $9,000 for his truck. And he had bad credit. So his deal was shit to begin with this deal was shit already to start right so long story short he didn't buy the car the lady who was selling him the car was like oh um just come back in like 20 minutes and 10 minutes and i remember getting a little frustrated and getting a little angry you know because while i was there i was like bro is this guy playing with me like does he just want to keep me on the lot here just in case he don't want me to go no nowhere else you know I hop up, you know, I walk up to the sales manager and I'm like, hey man, you know, like what, what's up, man? Like what y'all got me doing, bro? Like if y'all don't want me, if I can't buy this car, let me know now, you know, cause otherwise I'll go, bro. And they're like, oh no, 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 just give it 10 minutes. Just wait, the guys in finance. And if it doesn't go through, you'll be fine. Like, All right, man, cool. Boom, me and my dad, we go eat, right? And I'm already looking at car number two. And I call him back. I'm like, listen, man, you know, are we good? We good to go? He's like, yes, man, you're good. It's no problem. Um, you know, come back to the dealership, do a deal on the car. And boom, I did. So the only doubt in my mind was that if this other guy who's working on this car gets a car, gets this car, I'm still going to drive elsewhere and buy another Dodge. I had already put it in my mind. I made up my mind. I put my mind to it. And I already knew the car, saw the car, Visioned myself driving the car, visualized myself driving the car. I knew what it would feel like, what it would smell like in that car. It was an RT plus, just like this is an RT plus, meaning it's got the Alcantara with the leather, 
RT on the seats. Heated and cooled seats, navigation. I got lane assist and I got defogging side view mirrors, a uh, sunroof, all of this stuff, bro. The other one had it too. I had already made up in my mind that this is what I'm doing. And God made it so. God made it so that the universe bent right into alignment with what I was on, with what I prayed for, with what I believed for, with what I visualized. You gotta understand, man, prayer, affirmation, visualization, and action will get you what you want, but you have to have action. I think, see that part right there is so big, bro. A lot of people take action without the visualization. And then at that point, you just kind of doing a bunch of stuff, hoping for it to work. So that's not good. Some people visualize and have no action. All you're doing is thinking about the thing. Okay, I can get this car. I can get this car. You're not even thinking about how you can get the car, right? Okay, how do you, how do you go get a Dodge Charger? You buy one, okay? Now, how do you get the money? You make the money. How? Where's the money coming from? Oh, I can, I can steal the money. Where are you going to steal it from? Oh, I don't know. I'll find it. Eh, wrong answer. How do you get a Dodge Charger? Fastest way to get one? Oh, I can steal a Charger. You're go, you can steal one, right? You're going to go to jail. Eh, wrong answer. How do you get a Dodge Charger? I get the money. Okay, you make the money, right? So now, where, where in your life can you create enough money to put a down payment on a Dodge Charger? Can you sell a car that you have, right? Can you start a business, right? Can you borrow the money, right? Now you gotta think, okay, how can I do this? How can I get the money to make it happen, right? That's the action part. And then once you figure out, okay, how? Okay, this is how I can do it. Now it's time to take action, boom. It's time to do it. If, if business was your answer, start a business. I'm getting excited. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Yep. If business was your answer, start a business. If selling your car was the answer, like me, sell your car, bro. You need to do it. Now is the time to go, go, action. And then once you sell the vehicle, once you start the business, once you accumulate the funds, now it's time to look, find the vehicle. Once you find the vehicle, you need to see yourself in the vehicle. Feel that vehicle. Call the dealership. Is the vehicle still there? Maybe you need to go test drive the vehicle like I did. I test drove it, right? Test drive the vehicle before I sold the car, right? Test drove the vehicle before I sold. I know it was all in one video, but I did it in different days. I took my steps. I took my time. Test drive the vehicle before you sell the other vehicle, before you accumulate the funds, before you start the business, before you borrow the money, right? Feel it, smell it, love it, and then you make another move and you go and buy it. It's that simple. It's that, it's that simple, man. It's that simple. You can use these same principles for anything in life, bro. Anything in life. Finding the best, finding the woman of your dreams, right? Okay. This is what she looks like. I want to know, I know what she looks like. I know what she smells like from day to day. I know what her skin looks like. I know what her hair feels like. I know the way that I want her to love me. I know the way that I want to love her. I know what it sounds like when she talks to me. I know what it sounds like when we're having conversations, right? I know what her presence feels like. Then you gotta take action. Now you gotta go look for the woman. You gotta go find her, bro. You gotta go find her. Maybe you need to hop on Plenty of Fish. Maybe you need to hop on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com. Maybe you need to hop on Tinder. Maybe you need to hop on Hinge. Maybe you need to swipe right and swipe left and swipe right and find her. Maybe you need to start the conversation. You gotta get in the game. Maybe you need to go on a few dates and realize, okay, maybe you need to reflect on the type of woman that you used to be with and realize what you don't want before you start getting with the new chick is you have to take this process seriously, bro, to have the things you want, bro. Like in my last, my last manifestation video, when I told y'all I manifested my Cadillac, bro, I took action, but this time 
the action that I took was so much more potent, bro. And I think it was because I took action before, because I did it before, I felt more comfortable. But I'm telling y'all, you need to do it now. Whatever it is that you want out of this life, bro, now's the time to do that shit, bro. Now's your time. Now is your chance. What are you going to wait till you're 50 years old to buy a charger? Right? Are you going to wait till you're 50 to be rolling around town and everybody looking at you like, oh, shit, that's nice. I like that. People pulling up to you at the at the light revving they shit trying to get you to race. Are you going to wait till you're 50 years old, bro? Are you going to wait till you're 50 years old to start dating women to find the right one? Are you going to wait till you're 50 years old to start the business? Are you going to wait till you're 50 years old to, bro, just stop waiting. Now's the time to do it. But you also need the level of manifestation, bro. In order to manifest, again, just to recap, and I'm going to get off this because I got to buy my snake a rat. You need to visualize, see it, practice being in that thing, practice being with it, practice feeling it, practice hearing it, practice smelling it, practice seeing it, right? And then you need to take action. You need to go test drive the vehicle. You need to go meet new people. You need to go meet the group of friends. You need to have the conversation with your manager about your promotion and your raise. You need to do the thing before you even do it. See it, believe it, right? Take action and then you can have it. It's that simple, bro, it's that simple. And this is small shit. It's a big step for me, you know what I'm saying? I got the RT, you feel me? I got Alcantara on my back, you know what I'm saying? Big bolster seats. You know, sunroof. Yeah, I got it. It's a it's a big step within my life, but it's small on a mass scale. You got people out here like Yo Gotti buying uh, $1.2 million in Rolls Royces, matching Rolls Royces. Limited features in the car that only he has in all of America. You know what I'm saying? You got guys like Mr. Organic. So much money, he cash out on an Aventador and then start a giveaway for the Aventador, right? Giving you the ability to purchase the Aventador. Giving you the ability, he gonna give it away. Give it, you, got, you got the ability to pay $25 and then receive an Aventador that quick, that fast, bro. You got guys in, 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 that's living mansions. Malibu mansions, bro. Malibu mansions. I just watched the video the other day. $295 million house is on sale right now in Los Angeles, California, bro. You got Rick Ross, $100 million fortune. You know? It's possible, bro. You got DDG, DDG, millionaire YouTuber. Now he's on tour rapping with Kevin Gates, bro. Rapping with legends. It's possible. Whatever you want is possible, but you got to see it to believe it. It's your boy TJ Two Smooth Trader One. I hope y'all love this video, man. It's some real shit. The next video, I'm going to give y'all a walk around, let y'all see the new whip. In other words, man, see it, believe it, and you can have it. It's your boy TJ Two Smooth, man. I'm out.